What started out as a pretty simple search ended up taking a lot more time than I expected. Between vague specs, confusing model names, and pricing that doesn't really tell you what you're getting, it got messy fast. I'd find a model that looked good on paper, only to realize it didn't support the materials I was using, or it needed extra setup I hadn't planned for. So I decided to dig in, spent a few months testing different machines, talking to people who use this stuff every day, and just trying to get a clear picture of what's actually worth considering these days. And in this video, I'll walk you through the ones that actually stood out, especially if you're after strong performance, good support, and solid value without going full industrial. Now, first up is Hero Laser, based out of Shenzhen. They make everything from handheld welders to fully automated systems, and you'll see their equipment in industries like automotive, aerospace, and electronics. But what makes them interesting is they're also great for smaller shops or more hands-on projects. Instead of ordering straight through the website, you actually reach out to their team. They'll ask what materials you're working with, what thickness, and how often you plan to run jobs, then recommend a model that fits. The model I ended up with was their, their T1 handheld 3-in-1. It's designed to handle welding, cutting, and cleaning all in one unit. It's got a built-in water cooling system, uses advanced fiber laser tech, has some solid safety features, and the setup was pretty quick. I had it running in a few hours. Plus, switching between modes is smooth, so it's easy to stay focused on the actual work. Now, the pricing depends on how you configure it, but for the handheld models, expect somewhere between four and $6,000. Uh, obviously, advanced builds will cost more, but you also get a one-year warranty with remote support, so you can customize it to fit how you work. The only real drawbacks I ran into were the quote-based pricing and slightly slower shipping if you're outside Asia. And depending on the time zone, responses can take a bit, but once it's in your hands, it's easy to get started. And the team does a good job helping you pick the right setup. So if you want something that performs well, is easy to work with, and doesn't feel like a stripped-down budget unit, Hero Laser is a solid option. And if you're looking at picking up something from Hero Laser, check out the link down in the description and comment section. We can usually get you some special deals that you won't find on their official site. Then all the way at the other end of the range, you've got Trump. This is a German company that's been building industrial laser systems for a long time. And these are the kind of machines you'll find in full scale manufacturing setups. They're basically the benchmark for all of Europe. And they specialize in advanced metal processing with technologies like Brightline Weld and Brightline Scan, perfect for deep precision welds. This is the kind of system you'll see on automotive assembly lines or in aerospace plants where every weld has to be exact and repeatable every single time. One thing to note though is the price. Trump is way into the premium range. Exact numbers aren't listed publicly, but you can expect advanced setups to easily reach half a mil or more. Now for large scale production where you need full automation and proper integration with robotics, that kind of investment might make sense. And their global support network and technical service are absolutely top tier. So if your workflow depends on speed, scale, and consistency, and you've got the budget to match, it delivers some of the most capable systems out there. Then there's IPG Photonics, based in the US. They're known for fiber laser systems and serve a lot of the same industries as Trump. Automotive, aerospace, electronics, but their focus is more on power and energy efficiency. They've got everything from compact handhelds to massive industrial fiber laser systems, and you'll find a lot of cool tech features here. One is real-time weld monitoring, so you can actually like see what's happening as you work. Another is their built-in quality control. It flags issues as they come up, and if you're doing a lot of high volume or critical work, that kind of automation can be massive as far as time and rework. Plus, their service centers all around the globe and factory direct technical help when you need. But again, pricing isn't listed and just like Trump, it's really aimed more at industrial use. Even the smaller systems are built with a level of complexity that most people honestly probably don't need. Last up is Hans Laser, another name out of China with a big international footprint. They've got everything from small handheld units to full automation systems using things like appliance manufacturing and electronics. And what I like here was the flexibility. Autofocus, adjustable beam control, robotic integration if you need it. So whether you're doing simple welds or building out a more complex setup, there's a lot to work with. Their handhold units start around $4,000, but the bigger builds can go up to $60,000 or more for fully automated lines. The support is decent, and they've got service centers all over the place, but it's more of a hands-off, figure-it-out-yourself style than I'd personally like. But at the end of the day, the best choice really depends on your workflow and budget. If you're a small fab shop, turn jobs quickly, a repair center that needs something flexible, or a prototype builder that doesn't want to overspend, Hero Laser is the one that makes the most sense. If you're supplying parts to an auto line or working an auto space where slipping up means big problems, Trump or IPG may be a better fit. 
And if you're planning to scale gradually with room to grow, Hans has a lineup that can expand with you. With Hero Laser though, you get capable performance, simple setup and support that helps you pick the right tool. And if you need something more custom, they'll work with you to build it around your needs. Unless you're playing in some pretty high stakes fields, it's the one that I'd recommend going with. And if you're thinking of picking one up, you can check out the link in the description. Most of the products we talk about come with special deals that you wouldn't find on their official site. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. If this video helped clarify things for you, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe for more reviews, and drop your questions in the comments. I always do my best to reply. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.